right sitting in front of me is the beautiful, rare, and uncommonly seen Ecuadorian Toadhead Viper. What's really, really neat is that these scales are all keeled on the top, which gives these snakes a very rough feeling and appearance. Like I said, I really, really want to avoid a bite as best as I can. My name is Jack, and I've spent the past few years traveling all over the globe to find some of nature's most unique and most dangerous animals. My goal? To show the world that even the most bizarre or perhaps even deadly life forms on Earth deserve both our respect and our appreciation. Now this mission has pushed me to the extreme as I search for some of the most dangerously venomous snakes on Earth to showcase the true nature of these animals. Are they truly the aggressive and evil monsters you may believe them to be? Or are they simply vastly misunderstood? In today's mission, I am heading to the dense cloud forest of Ecuador on the hunt for these forests most venomous viper, the toad-headed viper. Will this be the encounter I'm hoping for? Or will this snake prove to be too much to handle? Let's find out. Jack, Emilio, and the Wildlife Brothers set out on an impossible mission to find one of Ecuador's rarest vipers. The team sets out in full force, scouring the cloud forest near Mindo, Ecuador, in hopes of catching a glimpse of one of the most elusive vipers. Will they succeed, or will they be met with the sting of failure? This question can only be answered by the dense highland jungles they find themselves in, and by Lady Luck herself. Godspeed, men, and may the Force be with you. Now, like I said, these animals are extremely rare to find in their natural environment. And we actually had been looking for days and days and days for these animals. We were looking for them at night. We were looking for them during the day. And we just could not seem to catch a break. So one day, we all decide to split up. And boy, was that a good idea. After just a few hours of searching, I heard the Wildlife Brothers and Emilio start to make quite a commotion. And as I sped over to them, I discovered what all the hullabaloo was about. Okay, folks, so we weren't able to capture the capture of this amazing snake, but Emilio and the brothers spotted what is easily one of our biggest reptile targets of the trip. Right sitting in front of me is the beautiful, rare, and uncommonly seen Ecuadorian toadhead viper. These animals are restricted to montane forests in South America only. So to find one like this is a truly special experience. We were hoping to see this snake, but I, I gotta be honest with you, I was not counting on it in the slightest. Not only are these really hard to find, but me personally, I have pretty terrible luck when it comes to snakes here in the Neotropics. So I was like, oh, that'd be really cool to see, but I'm not so sure we're gonna find it. So I couldn't be happier that uh, our really our wildest dreams have come true in finding this truly remarkable viper. So I'm going to move it just a few feet this way so we got a little bit of a better look at this animal. Uh, but uh, woo, I'm excited. The venom of these snakes is extremely similar to the Bothrops genus Lancehead vipers. A bite can cause extensive flesh-destroying necrosis, and of course, if left untreated, possibly even death. Now these snakes feed on a variety of smaller animals in this cloud forest, and so they need to be able to quickly kill potential prey within minutes or possibly even seconds. So you don't want to be bitten by this venomous snake. Now these animals are ambush hunters to a T. You can see this lovely modeling looks very similar to all of this leaf litter here behind me. So these animals spend most of their time tightly coiled up just waiting for frogs or lizards or something, small mammals to come 
within striking distance. And that's where this explosive action comes forth. These animals sit like a loaded spring and they are equipped with powerful hemotoxic venom that can make quick work of almost any small animal here in the rainforest. These are such gorgeous vipers. Now, I've always been a little partial to the heavier bodied uh, terrestrial vipers. So this is just really, really cool to be able to see such a spectacular snake here. Let's see if we can uh, get her up. Oh, wow. What's really, really neat is that these scales are all keeled on the top, which gives these snakes a very rough feeling and appearance which can help greatly, again, in that camouflage. It helps kind of break up that uniform kind of serpentine body and helps kind of create more of a warty stick look. And as you, as you can see, man, I'm just getting absolutely swarmed by mosquitoes, but there's really not anything that uh, could happen to me right now that could dampen my mood with this spectacular, spectacular reptile. Wow. Look at this snake. Bring her close to me so you can see that. Oh, whoa, beautiful animal. And as you can see, really, really calm. This is not an aggressive creature. This is not an animal that really wants to harm me at all. And for the most part, it understands that I'm not a predator. I'm not here to hurt it. So it feels no desire, no need to defend itself against me. So as long as I stay calm and I respect this animal, I'm really in no significant danger. A bite from this snake would not be a pleasant one. Uh, this venom is powerfully hemotoxic. I uh, could easily cause some significant tissue damage. I could maybe lose fingers, maybe lose an arm, maybe potentially, in a rare case, I could even lose my life. So once again, even though I'm up close and personal with these animals, I still want to respect them as best I can because they are just so magnificent, so cool, and they don't deserve the terrible reputation that many people attribute to these snakes. Oh, that's so cool. Enjoying this video? I absolutely love filming snakes, especially venomous ones. If you'd like to see more venomous snake videos, let me know by sharing this video. If we reach 100 shares on this one, I'll be sure to crank out more snake videos more regularly. The decision is yours. Of course, once again, I don't recommend anybody free handle these venomous snakes, but sometimes I just can't resist getting up close and personal with these fantastic animals. They're just so beautiful, so fantastic. Look at that beautiful animal. Try and get her up a little further. Like I said, I really really want to avoid a bite as best as I can. But there's just something about these snakes. Something about them. They're just so, so fantastic. Oh, wow, look at that. Gorgeous animals, gorgeous little terrestrial forest vipers. They're just such spectacular animals. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. Love that. Always love these special experiences that we get to have with these amazing animals out here in their natural environment, in their natural ecosystem. This is a nice, healthy snake as well. She's getting plenty to eat out here and she's doing very well for herself, it would seem, which is just a great sign that these forests still have some health left in them. Now these snakes are such an interesting and unique species and they are also unbelievably uncommon. There aren't many people who have been able to see this snake species in the wild. Additionally, I couldn't have asked for a more calm and well-behaved snake. This just really sends home the point of when snakes do not feel threatened, they have no reason to lash out in a defensive way. Well, we had a fantastic time filming with this beautiful snake here, and I think, uh, I think our time with this lovely reptile is coming to an end. Once again, an amazing ambassador for the fact that although these animals, these reptiles can be extremely venomous, extremely dangerous, they really have no desire to uh, harm us in any way. 
They're more than happy being left alone in their native environment. And as long as we leave them alone and give them all the space that they deserve, uh, then uh, we are really in no real danger. So super, super cool. What an amazing snake. Look at that. Wow. Beautiful. Well, there you have it. The true nature of these snakes is not one of aggression or malice, but a nature of timidity. These are peaceful forest dwellers who would much rather rely on their camouflage or fleeing than standing their ground to fight. So often I see people misunderstanding and misinterpreting snake behavior, and it's truly a shame. These animals are complex and wonderful creatures and deserve the same level of respect and appreciation we afford to the more popular mammalian and avian animals of the world. Remember, you don't have to like an animal to understand it has a purpose and adds precious value to its respective ecosystem. These snakes provide countless ecological services in their native habitat, and we benefit from these types of creatures all over the world. Just because something is venomous does not mean its main goal is to cause harm. These animals deserve every right to survive and thrive as we do. Be kind to your fellow earthlings and try your best to understand the world from their much different perspective. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.